Hi, Katie here with Blackberry Hill House. And you know, we fell in love with this house mostly because it has this beautiful atrium. We love it so much. And I have gone and turned it into a nursery this spring. So I wanted to show you exactly what I've done with the place. So the atrium is right off of the kitchen and it's really nice to just be able to let the dogs out and Malcolm too. Um, you know, we keep spare shoes in here and coats and things like that. And then the dog towels and all of that fun stuff. So it's nice in the mornings because the puppy really needs to get out the minute that we all wake up so I can just open the doors and he can go outside and do his business. The previous owners used this space primarily for entertaining and we'll get there eventually, but right now it's kind of turned into our plant nursery. So I knew that we needed to have a big garden this year and that means space to grow things. And since we don't have a greenhouse yet, this is our greenhouse and it does a great job. It's almost the same thing. So with a few modifications, we were able to turn it into a greenhouse. like my Amazon baker's rack that is now my potting bench. I love this because it can hold pretty much everything and I don't really care if it gets dirty, which it is very dirty because I have been planting things like crazy the last two weeks. So another fun thing is this awesome ledge. Now the previous owners had a large tree up here, but it blocked all of the sunlight coming into the living room and I'm big on having lots of light inside. So the tree had to go. Eventually what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit of a taller ledge there and that's gonna be for more plants because as you can see, I have just a few plants. Now this is a passive solar atrium. So there's a special kind of rock under the floor that tends to hold heat so as the sun comes in from this wall of windows and the floor heats up, that rock then holds the heat and distributes it. There's a, an empty, like a empty crawl space underneath the, in the basement area. And it just kind of funnels the heat into the finished part of the basement. What's really great is that we had a really cold, bitter cold snap last month and the temperatures were below zero, but it was sunny outside. So while our temperatures were hovering in the teens outside, it was 90 degrees in here because the sun was out. So total nice and warmth. Also, when it gets that hot in here, you know, heat rises, there is a vent up there and all we have to do is flip a switch and that vent will carry all of that nice warm air into the finished section of the basement too. So hello, lowered heating bills, total win. Welcome to the nursery. So I got a little carried away ordering seeds this year, which I do from time to time. Um, and as someone who's had a successful garden for several years, I did make a rookie gardener mistake. I got really excited about my new seeds and I planted them way too early. <laughs> I started out in seed trays, um, we got the usual growers kit right here, but then we also got these fantastic silicone um, seed trays off Amazon. And I will put that link down below. Um, so these have been great, but everything grew really fast. I ordered a lot of seeds from Seed Savers and the germination quality on those is like 100%, which I did not expect. So all of my um, zucchini and my tomatoes and my cucumbers all started to get root bound and I had to pull them out and repot them into bigger pots because it's still too cold and too early to put them outside in the garden. So another genius idea that we had here was putting the seedlings on this cart because if you grow things, you'll know babies go towards the light. And if you leave them like that, you're gonna have some really crooked, messed up plants. So about twice a day, I'll come in here and I will flip this around and put it back. And then that way, they're going back and forth and growing straight. And I'm not sitting here moving around seed trays for five hours. 
So we're growing several different types of tomatoes, two different types of cucumber. We've got zucchini, a lot of different herbs. Um, I'm growing for the first time ever, I'm growing sunflowers and they got a little leggy and started to bend. So I had to tie them up. Um, those may end up not being transplantable. I don't know. We'll see. I'm new to this. So I'm still figuring it out with a lot of the newer things. So the previous owners of the house were gracious enough to leave their trees here. I mean, they were moving into a, a fifth wheel, so they couldn't really take them with them. But we have this wonderful Meyer lemon tree. It's currently suffering from spider mites, but we're working through it. And we've gotten a lot of lemons off of this already this year. And as you can see, we've got flowers and buds and a couple lemons that are almost ready to be picked. Then we have our banana tree. Um, it's a baby banana tree, so it's not going to give us bananas anytime soon. I don't know if we'll ever see bananas in our lifetime, but when you're sitting in this, in this chair right here underneath the banana tree, and it's a nice warm, sunny day, you can close your eyes and feel like you are someplace tropical. And I like that. And then in the corner, we have the ficus tree. I don't know why we have it, but it's here and it's green. So it will live there. I don't know for how long. <laughs> I have a thing about ficus trees. They're very messy, but it's still nice and we'll keep it. Um, <laughs> I have to keep pruning it back though. It keeps it when we got the house, the tree was huge. It was all the way up to the window up there and I needed it to be a little bit smaller um, because I was really worried about this is this uh, window goes into the owner's bathroom right here into our bathroom and it it's one of those things where it really blocks the whole window and it was starting to block that window. So we trimmed it down and it's just going to live here in the corner forever and ever. <laughs> Future plans, hopefully by the end of the month, we ordered strawberry plants. Malcolm loves strawberries. So because I want to keep the kid in strawberries year round, they're going to be indoor strawberries. We got self pollinating variety and we found these stackable strawberry or well, stackable planters that can be used for strawberries on Amazon. And I'll put that link below too. And we got this fantastic rolly cart. So our strawberries are supposed to arrive by the end of the month. And I need to work on getting these all ready for the plants. That's going to be a whole different video. I acquired several house plants at the old house and those plants reproduced and then my mom gave me more plants and I have a lot of plants now and this isn't even all of the plants because my mom still has some of them from when we moved that she promises she'll bring back to me soon. So I'm going to have to figure out a shelving solution so that we can get the plants off the table, but we've got a, we've got a little while first and the table came with the house too. So super nice. Um, just house plants, my aloe plants here, a couple different succulents. And then this is going to be fun. So Malcolm and I found these pine cones out on the property. And I read that you can actually get them started inside the cone and have little baby pine trees. So um, I don't know if that's going to work for us. I don't know if we got the right kind, but it's an experiment and we're having fun with it. Now, grandma got this for Malcolm and it's really cute. It's like this little kid's kit um, and he loves dinosaurs. And there's a little light in here that you turn on so that the volcano glows at night. Uh oh, we're out of batteries to replace the batteries in that. But it's got wheat grass and chia seeds and things like that. And he had a lot of fun planting it. I think we're going to, it gives you enough seeds that you can keep planting it. And I think we're at, all close to the second cycle on that. This is how I've been keeping track of everything. When I started it, when it's popped up, um, I've got a couple different things and I still have some more seeds to start, but those are later in the season. So this was a great idea. I had this in the office at the old house and I'm not using it for anything today. So here it is. And now this is how I keep track of what got planted when, where it came from, so I know if I should order from that place again, and when to transplant also. <laughs> well, I'm gonna kick back and relax and cross my fingers that the sun comes out. I hope that you enjoyed the atrium tour. Uh, give me a little thumbs up 
and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. We're going to have other little videos like this. The shorter videos I'm calling Berry Blogs because that's just cute and fun. And thanks for watching. Have a good day and I'll see you next time.